You want to get a really good deal on a car in 2024? You need to know the dealer invoice price. Pops, you sold cars for 43 years. Help us understand what the dealer invoice price is, and we'll share with everyone how they can get their hands on it as well. Let's start there. What is dealer invoice price? The dealer invoice price is the amount that the manufacturer charges the dealer for the vehicle. So when the dealer gets invoiced for the vehicle, their um, floor plan company, their bank, will then forward that amount of money that is on the invoice. It says dealer cost. They will forward that amount of money to the manufacturer to pay for the vehicle and and then they start paying interest on that amount of money. Now, that is not necessarily the actual total final cost of the vehicle, but it is what the dealer pays for it initially. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, 29% off of Insights 2.0 that include the invoice pricing for you, $290 off of our extended warranties to help celebrate Zach's 29th birthday, and believe it or not, somebody's going to win a free concierge service at $999 value. All you have to do is go to www.caredge.com slash Zach turns 29. All right, you got to peel back the onion a little bit further. What is the total actual cost? Break it down even more, Dad. Every manufacturer has something called holdback. Uh, holdback is a percentage of the base MSRP of the vehicle, usually anywhere from one, one and a half to maybe 3% of the base MSRP is holdback that the dealer gets paid quarterly after they have sold the vehicle. So if a vehicle is a $50,000 base MSRP and and the dealer gets 2% for holdback, that's $1,000 if I, if I did my math correctly. Um, so ultimately, they would get that return to them from the manufacturer after they sell the vehicle. In essence, it lowers the cost of the vehicle. There's also something called floor plan assistance the manufacturer realizes that the dealer has to pay to carry all that inventory. And so the manufacturer assists the dealer with that. And floor plan assistance is once again, a percentage of the uh, total cost of the vehicle. Floor plan assistance could be $500, $750. It might be enough to pay for two or three months worth of interest to carry that car in inventory. And then the manufacturer realizes that the dealer has to advertise that vehicle. So there could be advertising or marketing assistance money from the manufacturer. That could be another $500, $600, $700 um, that the manufacturer returns to the dealer to help them advertise that vehicle. And those are, are three things that's what's known as under the line money that dealers can get back. And oftentimes there, there can be even more things. All right. So we know buying a car is very convoluted and challenging. And here you go. We're talking about dealer invoice price. It's just the price that the dealer pays to buy the car, right? Wrong. It's complicated and convoluted. Everything in the auto industry is. So again, let's just level set. You have the MSRP of a new car. That's the manufacturer suggested retail price. That doesn't change. That's what the manufacturer says. You then have the dealer invoice price, which is what the dealer pays to purchase that vehicle from the manufacturer. That's the money they wire over to be able to get that vehicle on their lot. And then you have some money that comes back to the dealership when they sell the vehicle, like you mentioned, hold back floor plan assistance and advertising assistance. So really the total cost to the dealer would be the dealer invoice price minus the hold back floor plan assistance and advertising assistance. That's their real bottom line. Or you might even hear in the industry, triple net. That is like when everything's removed, that is the bottom, bottom, bottom line price that the dealer is paying for the vehicle, correct? Correct. And then your manufacturer might have some type of sales goals for you to hit. And if you hit specific sales goals on specific models, you can earn additional money for that. Um, you know, a lot of the manufacturers do, do that. And it could be $1,000, $1,500, $2,000 per vehicle sold that you get if you hit your sales objective or surpass your sales objective. So there's many ways that dealers can earn additional money from the manufacturer that ultimately drops the total cost of what that vehicle was. Now, 
why is it important for you as a customer to know invoice? Well, oftentimes a dealer, some dealers would say, I'll be more than happy to share the invoice with you. How much over invoice are you willing to pay? Um, we'll make you a partner in the business. Here's what we paid for it. Name how much you want us to make. Um, yes, that can be a way to buy a car, but you're not taking into consideration the floor plan assistance, the marketing money, the, uh, the holdback. So if you want to special order a car, and oftentimes dealers will say, okay, special order, that's MSRP. Does not have to be. Even if you bought it at invoice, they're still making the whole back, the floor plan assistance and the marketing assistance, and they didn't have to spend any of that money. That could represent $1,500, $2,000 in profit if they sold you the vehicle at their invoice cost. That's why it's important to know what the invoice is. Yeah, the invoice cost is just another data point that you can use in your negotiation. And for any new car negotiation, we recommend you get your hands on it. That being said, the holdback floor plan assistance, advertising assistance, I don't know of a data source out there where you can get your hands on it other than asking the dealership for a copy of their invoice. We have back on the Car Edge community forum and on caredge.com slash guides, a lot of invoice copies. Like you can see the full invoice. And we also have on the Car Edge car search now, you can see with Insights 2.0, the, the dealer invoice cost of any vehicle. So that's data that you can use in your negotiation, but it's not the end all be all. To your point, Dad, you need to be familiar with these other concepts so that you can bring them to the table. Now let's talk a little bit about when customers do bring this to the dealership. Are dealers receptive? Like when you had customers come to you, would you show them the invoice? If they said, hey, I know the invoice of this Mini Cooper is X or this Acura MDX is Y, would you say, okay, I'll sell it to you at invoice? Or I guess my question is like, how can I use invoice cost to negotiate and how receptive will the dealer be? Um, there were times where we would be more than happy to share the invoice with the customer. And and if, an, if a customer wanted to see an invoice, even on our hottest selling vehicle, I didn't have a problem showing them. And I would tell them up front, I'll be more than happy to show you the invoice. I, I will not and cannot sell you the vehicle to invoice, but I'll share that information with you. Um, I, I have nothing to hide. Now, yes, I oftentimes looked at the customer and said, here's the invoice, here's what we paid for it. You're a partner in the business. What do you think would be a fair return on your investment? Okay, and don't say that the fair return should be $500 under invoice because as an investor, you're going to want to make more than that. So what would be fair? As long as you put a number that's a positive number above that invoice amount, you will go home in your new car. If you want to insist on the number being a negative number, we still have more to talk about. <laughs> Take the invoice uh, data point into the negotiation, whether you do it via email, phone, or even walking into the dealership, go print out the uh, car edge car search result for your vehicle so you have the invoice price right there dad we also have a guide back on caredge.com that talks about invoice price so if you're interested in learning more about invoice you can read more about it there thank you as always Pop, may, yeah, go may for i it. say one more thing just because you might know the invoice on the vehicle what really determines its value is market conditions what is the market willing to pay for that vehicle if the vehicle is in short supply and there is an excess number of people that want to buy it, the invoice amount is worthless to you because the dealer is not going to sell it to you anywhere near invoice. The dealer is going to sell it for what the market is willing to pay. It's valuable information to know, but don't, all, don't get so hung up on it that uh, it precludes you from making a deal.